So as you notice here, I finally got around to cutting this triple joist. And I ended up using a sawzall to do that. Here's the remnants of that cut there. That's the part that I took out. And if you notice, I have lattice here and lattice here. And also had lattice attached here and over there. And part of the reason for that was I wanted to build sort of a sled for the sawzall base plate to ride along so that I could maintain a straight cut. So basically, the width between the lattice pieces that were here was the same as the width of this base plate. And I, get, I had just a tiny bit of give, I think I had maybe like 1 32nd of an inch of give between those two lattice pieces so that I could slide the, the base plate along there. And so Sawzall sat kind of like this. And I just slid it this way to make a straight cut. I did have to clean it up a little bit using the sander and also using the multi-tool but in general it, it came out looking pretty straight. If you notice on here the blade that I use is a 9 inch blade. It's got a little thicker gauge to it and it's also a fine pitch blade so it didn't cut as roughly as it, as it would have if it was a, wasn't as fine a pitch. So that was all taken care of there. The other thing I wanted to kind of point you to is that since I'm going to be using joist hangers to attach the cross members here, I actually cut along the bottom to make this bottom cut or this bottom of these joists are all flush all the way across. So I did that using a circular saw and what I did was I just attached the straight edge all the way across here and then ran the circular saw along that straight edge to make the cut. Uh, so where the joist hangers will be sitting it'll be flush all the way across. I did the same thing on the other side over there too. On that side there. And on that side I actually had to use a multi-tool instead of the, the circular saw because I couldn't fit the circular saw in that area. And so the cross members that will be attached Here's one example here. It's a doubled up 2x6. So I cut two 2x6's two the same length. And I glued and screwed them. And then across the top, they're flush across the top. Same height across the top there. So they're pretty much matched up evenly and glued and screwed and you know, clamped together. So that's one example there. So I'll have one running here from the joist underneath the wall back to the joist underneath the camera and then the same thing over there. And how I'll be attaching all this together here's one joist hanger and the model number on this joist hanger, this is a, the uh, double joist hanger this is the model number is LUS 26-2Z so 2x6 double, double joist hanger. So that's one of them and then to go here on the triple joist I have this joist hanger this is LUS 26-3Z so 2x6 triple joist hanger so that'll go there and how I'll be attaching these all together I have a couple different options according to Simpson and, and their strong tie joist hangers. I have this option here which is a 16 penny nail and that's three and a half inches long or the other option that I have is here and this is the uh, structural connector screw number 10 two and a half inch so I just need to determine what's going to fit best especially underneath the wall there what's going to work best in terms of the tools that I use and that will determine exactly which one of these I'll go with Okay, so as you can see there, I've got one of the 2x6 uh, double tr cross members in there. And I decided to go with screws instead of using nails, just because I figured I might have some issues using the nails underneath this uh, wall here, underneath there. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go straight screws and, and put it in that way. So I've got four screws in on this side, another four on this side. And uh, what I'm going to talk about real quick is just kind of a couple challenges I ran into in trying to get this cross member into position here so I'm gonna drop down below here so you can see what I'm talking about okay so the main issue that I ran into in trying to get this cross member put in here 
was as you see there's a copper pipe that runs right underneath the cross member and what I was trying to do originally to get the cross member up into position was I was jacking up just one 2x6 piece so this piece here and I would jack it up into position and what would happen was it inevitably the jack would fall over or the cross member itself would kind of flop over on its side and it was very frustrating I said okay this is not going to work let me try something else here so what I ended up doing was taking uh, two 2 by 6s and I used a table saw to cut notches in each one of those and then I screwed them together uh, so you see the notch there is just wide enough so that uh, the copper pipe fits in between those two 2 by 6s and that worked pretty well I've got the cross member jacked up evenly and it's in the right position now so so once again after I got that all jacked up into position I was able to attach the joist hangers the joist hanger for on that side over there underneath the wall to get that into position I had to actually uh, get this 2x6 contraption here underneath that joist hanger and kind of prop it up uh, just because of the fact that what was happening is I would get one side done like on this side over here and then the opposite side would be kind of left over like this and it wasn't snug up against the up against the cross member so using that 2x6 contraption there to jack up the joist hanger also worked and I was able to get that snug up against the cross member and screwed in tightly so that looks pretty good now so I'm all done with that the last part of this is just putting in up here putting in the triple joist hanger I'm gonna to have to remove this screw here because that screw is right in the middle of where one of the nails or the screws will go for the joist hanger so I'll just move that out of the way and move it to a different spot okay so as you can see there I've got both cross members in place all the joist hangers are hung and all the screws are attached so that's all done here's another shot from this side as you can see there everything's all good to go and that's it thanks for watching